Welcome to my journey with Paula G, where we juggle this journey called life while walking in the gifts and the talents that God has given us. Thank you all so much for joining us on this journey. We are so incredibly appreciative. And if this is your first time on the journey, we welcome you. We welcome you to the journey. You know, I had a radio show for several years and I would always open my show with this. And I believe I've opened this show a few times with this as well. That time is precious. It is the one thing that you cannot get back. So for you to think it not robbery to spend this time with us, we truly, truly appreciate you and we pray that you will be blessed by what you hear or what you see here on my journey with Paula G. You know, during this particular season that we all find ourselves in, we're finding that we're having to navigate things a little differently while continuing to walk in the gifts and the talents that God has given us. And for us here at My Journey with Paula G, we are no different. You may have noticed that the shows are coming from different sets. You've seen different sets. And today is no different. We are incredibly, incredibly appreciative and pleased to be able to be coming to you from the Good Acting Studio out of Atlanta, Georgia with Michael Mario Good, the owner. This is a wonderful place. It is the home of the total actor and we really feel like we're home here at the Good Acting Studio. So we thank him so very much. Also, the team behind the camera, Elevate Productions with Josh, mm. Roland, and India, an up-and-coming production company. We'll, we may be talking to them a little bit later on in another episode down the road. We'll be excited to hear what it is that they're doing. I'm telling you, these young people, when God places a gift and talent in them, they just get out there and they just start doing it. Not like my generation, you know, we gotta think about things. But anyway, that's another conversation. But we thank him so much. And also, Nick and Princess Star of Young Voices United, making a difference in the community through the arts with our youth. We thank them so very much as well for joining us here on the journey. Well, I'm so excited to be speaking with this gentleman today. Uh, it's, just, it's just an honor to be able to be speaking with him today, especially here. It's, it's really an emotional um, moment here, and this is really going to be an emotional show, so I hope that I won't shed a tear or two, but it's just, it just warms my heart and warms, warms my soul. But before we do that, I want to share with you a jewel on the journey, and for those of you who may be viewing for the first time, you may be wondering, what is a jewel on the journey? Each time that we have had a live event, to include our previous live um, recordings here at the Good Atten Studio. I always have the guests to fill out a little index card with their favorite quote, scripture, word of encouragement. That way they can stay connected with us as well as staying connected with you through this word of encouragement and scripture. And today, a word of encouragement comes from Miss Juanisha Spencer. I have held many things in my hands and I have lost them all. But whatever I have placed in God's hand that I still possess. Let that marinate over your soul for a moment. Let that marinate. Well, it is that time. Oh my gosh. This gentleman, this gentleman, best known for his role as Detective Sergeant Neil Washington on the long running hit series, which was probably the first police show, Hill Street Blues. He was also nominated for a Primetime Emmy for Best Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. And the show itself actually won a People's Choice Award for Best, Best Drama Series. He is a, a noted, legendary actor in television and stage. He is phenomenal. He is Mr. Torian Black. I just, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stay focused here. I'm trying to stay focused here. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for, for being here and for being able to, to pour into our audience, you know, your, your, your wisdom and all that, that you have done. You have quite a career in television and in stage, but you took a break from that. Yes. To, to do something that is just incredible, and, and I know it's going to bless this audience. So share with us what it was that you did. You took a break from acting. Share with us what it was that you did. I have uh, 13 children, 11 adopted children. Yeah, so I took a little hiatus mm -hmm. from acting. Uh, not really a hiatus, but a little step back. Uh, 
minute to raise my kids. As a matter of fact, most of them have grown up here in Georgia. Yeah, they have in La. They were too well. Uh, for the Southwest. The Cal? Yeah, yeah, Southwest the Cal? Yeah, mm -hmm. Yes. At Martin Luther King Jr. High School. And they're all out of the house now. <laughs> <laughs> so you're an empty nester now. Oh, uh, but empty nester. But, but that was an <laughs> incredible feat for you because at that particular time, share with the audience, just, I mean, because it's really huge. Share yeah, with the well, audience why it, was, <clears throat> why it was so incredible. Well, to me, uh, I remember this woman came to our church, mm -hmm. white woman, mm -hmm. and uh, they were trying to get uh, uh, people to adopt, uh, be foster parents. Yeah. yeah. And I showed up at the meeting, and she said, why are you here? And I said, I want to be a foster parent or adoptive parent. She said, well, that's impossible. Impossible, why? She said, you have three strikes against you. You're male, you're black, and you're single. I said, what? I said, I'm going to prove that you're wrong. Mm -hmm. I am going to adopt, you know, because kids need me. As much as I need them. And this was in the set in the seventies. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, I was in the midst of doing uh, Hill Street, Stony Hill Street, mm -hmm. and so here I am now. I was one of the first black men to step forward to be put in that position, and uh, President Bush saw me and on an article, read me an article, and he said, "This is the man. Mm -hmm. This is the who I want to. I want." To represent us, so they sent for us, the, me and all my tribe, to Washington, and they named me the national spokesperson for adoption service. National spokesperson Spokes for adoption. adoption service. Wow! Now you see, white woman in the audience, mm -hmm. you see, I'm still black, <laughs> I'm still a male, and yeah. I'm still single, yes. and I'm the national spokesperson for adoption services. Look at God. Look at God. God Look at God. Man. Thirteen. Children. That, yes. I mean, that's uh, two speaks. biological yeah. and eleven adopted. Wow. Yeah. That speaks to a man with with yeah. an, a huge heart to take in so many children. So, yeah. kind of take us a little bit through because you they, these were small children. Only babies. babies. They were babies. Yeah, most of them were babies. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was amazing because uh, I have two sets of siblings. Mm -hmm. My two oldest ones that I adopted when they were five, they were twins, and a pet family of five children that I kept together, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they were all grown now, though. They were a blessing. But that was important to you to keep those Or to, those together as and, much as I could. Yes, To yes, keep them together yes. because people say, well, I can't, I, 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 it's too much for me. I can't do that. I can't do it with five or seven or mm -hmm. eleven children. Oh, God is good. All, yeah, all the time. The time. It's good. So speaking of speaking of children, you 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 took a break from your career, which was mm. incredible because it it was an incredible career. You took a break, mm. and you adopted these children. Yes. And in the course of this, as well, there's a young man. We're going to talk a little bit about him okay. in, in the next segment. We talked a bit about him at the top of the show, oh. but Michael Mario Good. Oh. When you and I were talking yeah. earlier. We were talking a bit about mm -hmm. mentorship, mm -hmm. and you poured into him a bit as well. So we only have like maybe a minute or so. Can you just give us a just a taste of what it is that we're going to talk about with the audience in the yeah, second half? Yeah, well, Michael, he's done a terrific, fantastic. He's blessed. Yes. The, the studio that he has to allow people, young people now that, that we didn't have it today, mm -hmm. to have, we have a place to experiment and to learn. You know, to learn how to act, uh, just, just, just to learn the art. Yeah, yeah. I met Mark Mario in 2002. We would do Kenny Leon's inaugural uh, show, uh, Princess. So we're going to talk about that in the, in the okay. next segment. I'm going I'm to I'm hit the pause button right, right here. We're going to talk about that in the next segment. If you're just joining us, this is My Journey with Paula G. We are having a conversation with the legendary Mr. Torian Black, he shared with us a bit about his journey of adopting 13 children. Mm -hmm. When we come back in the next segment, we're going to talk about his role with Michael Mario Good, the Good Acting Studio, and mm -hmm. the impact he has had. This is my journey with Paula G. We'll be back in a moment. Mm -hmm.